Greetings viewers, I'm Patrick the Free Will Baptist. Thank you for joining me. Um, this video is titled, Mormonism Simply Exposed. Almost everyone knows of knows to beware of Jehovah's Witness, and they know that that's a cult. But the Mormons are a little different. And they lure people in claiming to be a Christian organization and claiming to be family-oriented and a friendly masquerade of kindness and love. Keep in mind, they only claim to be a Christian organization. When in fact, it's not true at all. Because, you know, even Satan and his, de his devils believe in Jesus. The Mormons are very powerful in the world today and have power because they're wealth. The Mormon, the Marriott, the Marriott Hotel chain is owned by the Mormon church. So when people are patroning there, they're helping an antichrist church. Mormons are very affluent with the dead. They claim to be visited regularly by dead family members. They are being deceived by devils. They actually believe that through prayer that people can receive salvation even, in de even after death. They associate very much with the dead. The pastor of the first satanic church and the author of the satanic Bible, Anton LaVey, in his satanic Bible, LaVey lists under the infernal names one of them listed as Mormo, which is the god of the living dead and the king of ghouls. The followers of Mormo are called Mormons. How's that taste? Did you know that Mormons have a really hard time witnessing in China because, uh, well, it's not because they're commies over there, but uh, it's, it's because Mormon in Chinese means gates of hell. <laughs> That's right. Now let me give you a little history on the Mormon Church. In 1821, a young treasure seeker named Jojo Smith, I mean, Joseph Smith, claimed to have had a vision from God. First he said it was from Jesus, and then he said it was from Jesus and many angels, and then he said it was from Jesus and God the Father. He just couldn't really make his mind up. But anyway, Mormons claim that Joseph Smith was visited by Jesus and God the Father, but the Bible tells us that no man can look upon the face of God the Father and live. He was also visited by a so-called angel named Moroni, who fed him a bunch of bologna, I mean, who supposedly told him about a secret manuscript written on gold plates telling the uh, true gospel. By the way, there's no gold plates he may can find, and all the stuff that he translated from, if he's really carrying that much gold, man, that thing must have weighed like about a half a ton. And that he translated this into the Book of Moron. Let me begin to tell you here what they really believe. They believe that long ago an unknown god and goddess was born of a man Elohim, was like later born to human parents, and he lived his life and became a god like his father. He also claimed to have fathered many children, two of them in particular, and they decided to put all Elohim's many children on a planet, and that planet needed a savior. The bid came before it came down to G Jesus or Lucifer, but Jesus won because he had unselfish reasons. But then Lucifer revolted and turned many of Elohim's children against him, and they were banished to earth, never to have physical bodies. The people who were on the side of Jesus were very light-skinned, and the people who remained neutral in the battle, their skin turned black. <laughs> I know, I'm laughing, but really, Mormonism's racism. If you're a Mormon, shame on you. This is a lie. And this is the Mormon exp explanation for the black people. They believe that after the battle, the people were sent to earth, and Elohim came to earth and had sex with Mary, and that's how Jesus came to earth. They also believe that Jesus took three wives while on earth, Mary, Martha, and Mary Magdalene. It's because the uh, the uh, Mormon cult is a is a cult of perverts. They they believe that Jesus had the same nasty desires that they just they just want to indulge in day and night. They also believe that jo Jesus fathered many children during his time on earth, and that Joseph Smith, their founder, was a direct descendant of Jesus. They believe that after the life of Mormonism and a Mormon marriage has taken place, and when they die, they'll become gods too, and they believe that they'll have their own little planet and many goddess wives, and that their job for eternity will be to populate the animal. Animals, I mean planets, sorry. <laughs> I know how far-fetched all this sounds, but this is really what all these people believe. Mormonism 
is a big orgy cult. That's right. And we would never have guessed it from all those sweet family Mormons, Mormon commercials on TV from people that just claim to be so happy and got it all figured out. People be aware of this dang dangerous cult. So, let me tell you some of the other things that Mormons do. They get baptized in the name of dead people. They believe somehow that they can save people out of hell by just getting baptized. Mormons don't believe in uh, grace to be saved. They believe that it's all you can do and then grace kicks in. Which gives a person a for surety, unsure idea of where they're going when they die. That's very sad to sit in church and, and try to believe and never know that you're going to be saved just because you didn't do enough. Because you have to do everything that the church said. You have to, uh, what is it called? Um, you have to do all the church callings, I think is what it's called. The founder of the, uh, the uh, Mormon belief was a 33 degree Freemason. That's right. And Freemasons, well, they worship many gods. Freemasonry simply denies that the biblical declara declaration that the Lord Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven, as stated in John 14, 6. Just as New Age Freemasonry teaches that there are many paths to lie, the Word of God condemns this philosophy as damnable heresy in Acts 4.12. Here's a quote taken from Lance S. Owens. He's written, uh, just like Joseph Smith was a 33 degree Freemason, so was uh, um, the uh, Jehovah's False Witness cult founder Charles Taze Russell. Although Mormons do use the Bible and the church does say the King James Bible, they don't they don't claim it as the authority Christian the final authority for the Christians. Their authority lies in the writings of that heretic Joseph Smith. And their cults doctrines and covenants book Only Faith on the Lord Jesus Christ of the Bible will save you. Doctrines and Covenants book can't save you. The Mormon cult spends tens of millions of dollars a year in public relations to portray themselves just as another Christian church. Read and study your Bible. Don't be fooled when the Mormons come to your door and try to convince you that they're your brothers or sisters. They believe that Jesus Christ and the devil are brothers. That's just not so. They also... They, they believe that God, that God the Father was a created being, that Jesus Christ was a created being. <laughs> really, in short, there's enough provided here to show you. Mor the Mormon cult, they don't know anything about the true gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. They, just like Gordon Hinckley say, their president, Gordon Hinckley, has said on record, and you can Google this yourself on YouTube, that they quote, do not believe in the traditional Jesus Christ. End quote. That's right, the Book of Mormon, another testament, is what it is. Another gospel, talking about another Jesus with a lowercase j. If you are in the Mormon church, please go to my website, www.sharingthetruthinlove.com, and click on the Salvation tab. Study your Bible. Pray that God leads you to salvation. Your works cannot save you. You must, you must stop trusting your works. I highly suggest you just read the entire book of Romans. Thank you for your time. God bless and praise the Lord Jesus Christ.